Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Get it! Come on! Well, hello everybody. It's me, Fig, again, with some more Red Dead Redemption 2 story. As you can see, we're just kind of standing somewhere in town. I honestly have no idea where the hell I am. Uh, we're just picking up right where we left off, essentially. So we'll uh, we'll pop into some missions. These pigs are screaming! My gosh! Relax! Uh, we'll hop into something and, and see what we can get into in this episode. We just did that Mary Linton stuff. That's what we've just gotten through. So right now it looks like we got... I can do Reverend Swanson, I can do the Micah mission, I can do the Javier, and I can do the Hosea. I think we'll do Reverend Swanson first, because I, if I recall right, that's a pretty silly one, and that's that'll be a little good, fun one to start on. Where's me horse at? Oh, there she be, Mustard. How are you now? Time to give her the beans, Mustard. We're not going to crash this time, my friend. I assure you. We're past the point where we always smash into something, so... So we are going to... Not run into anything this time around. That guy's real hungry, if you can imagine. I'm real hungry here. Ugh. Me. Hungry. Oh my god, that dog always yells at me. Okay guys, so I just saw on the mini-map here this little white circle, white yellow circle down in the corner there. And it's a stranger mission, so we're gonna... we might pop into that and see what this is. Because I don't know that I've done this, any of the stranger missions in this... up here. We'll take a look at what this, uh, this person's about. We're not forgetting our guns this time, though. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? I'm Those so certain. Those will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. Seems like a maniac. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You I was going to say, Arthur does not lizards. know what paleontologist means. Are you? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call a nice paintbrush she's got there. Just for now. It's a little bit of my, my real life bleeding into I'm this, but that's a, that's a good looking paintbrush there. She kept that thing in good condition. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. All right, then. Why not? And we're we'll yeah, with you. a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong, which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. I Good could get on board you, with that. I think I could, I'd believe that. So it's just a fine dinosaur bones thing. All right, well, that's exciting. Cool. I, I've truly never looked for the dinosaur okay, bones. Boy. So I don't really know uh, even where to begin with that, but... Oh, I gotta clean my horse, too. I can't... Guys, don't let me forget. All right, remind me. Remind me I need to clean my horse, because he's been... He's been begging for it. Oh my gosh! What is wrong with me? My goodness. You just truly, I can't be trusted at all behind the reins of this horse. Uh, it's just, at every turn, I seem to want to smash it into something. I am so sorry, Mustard. All right, let's find our way to Reverend Swanson. I got to look at the map, make sure I'm not going the wrong way. I mean, uh, I'm not. We're good. We'll get there. And here we are, just like that. Yeah. 
hitch up the old pony and we'll go talk to Reverend Swanson. Looks like I actually have my guns too, so I'll I'll maybe for once do alright. I think he's inside. I'm pretty confident he's inside. They're making it pretty ominous. Which but at least I got my guns, that's all I'll say. Oh. Just not where I'm supposed to be. Sorry. Reverend, you play, playing cards? I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. And your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. Excuse me? No more shall I sink, sir. I'm free. I am free. You sound free. You, you also sound free, sober. Free. You seem drunk. Sit down, oh. Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone Yo, reason. Arthur's a badass. Reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. Have you ever wanted to just say that to somebody, but, you, you know, you're polite, <laughs> and you don't talk to people that way? Why can't we all just get along? I appreciate that Arthur will just drop it like that. And Arthur, they're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems I don't particularly want to. I don't know how to play cards. At least not well. Um, I guess I'll play. We'll make a I'll make a fool of myself. Well, sit yourself down then. I'll play like the Reverend's crawling out though is the problem. Well, that's a problem I gotta solve here in a second. All right, I'll do this is Marvin. I don't care. I just don't care. Gentlemen. <laughs> This is getting too rich. Yeah, I'm well, take down. take my one and go. Friend, it's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Yep. The Rev. Where'd he go? Who? The Rev. Are you Rev. stupid? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend. Reverend. Reverend Swanson. Where'd you go? Well, I imagine we're gonna ask these guys. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. Okay, well, I just need to know where he is. Way, I think. Thanks. I think. I what a help. Crazy, mister. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he definitely is pretty crazy. I'll bring the old horse with. Oh, a skunk. Look at that. I wonder if they spray in this game. I don't know that I should find out. Oh, there he is! What is happening? Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You oh, God. What is he just... He's just in the middle of something constantly? Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this isn't... You don't want to smoke. Oh, okay. All right. You want to do this? Okay. All right. Just making sure this is what we're doing. Okay. Oh, all right. He's whooping me. Yeah, you get knocked out, brother. And now I'm taking your things. Oh, good. Well, we're going to solve a... Well, I guess we're not going to solve that problem. I was going to kill him. Whatever. I don't... This is, this is just becoming a whole thing. Reverend, get over here. Hey, you. Get back here. Oops. It's the first evil thing I've done, but it was it needed to be done. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> we couldn't have him ruining that for us. Wrong time, wrong place, friend, I suppose. Reverend, get over here. Gosh. You just know. I know what's going to happen. You just know. You know it. There's no chance it doesn't. You know what I mean? He's going to end up... Uh, I'm going to eat something just to get my heart up. He's going to end up... There's going to be like a train coming. We all know it. There's going to be a train coming. Jeez, he's fast! Just a simple mistake. You can still be... I mean, here, Reverend. Why is everyone trying to die lately? 
Come here. So you can hear it? Oh, there's a train coming. There it is! For fuck's sake. Oh gosh, there's gonna be a button mash here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> you know how loud that would be? Oh, so good thing it's the shortest train that's ever existed. Look at Mustard standing there waiting like a hero. Thanks, Mustard. Thanks, sir. Oh, no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, what is wrong what the with you, hell man? What's wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Yeah, Reverend, you're all over the board, my friend. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, gosh. I wish I was different. Buddy, it's all right. We all do sometimes. You're better than the bottle. Yeah. You got you got life yet worth living, friend. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But man, the ability for people to get pissed drunk in this in this game is incredible. Truly an incredible feat. All right, you're going on the back of the horse, Reverend. All right, Mustard. We're going to give you a couple brushes quick just to just to make you feel a little cleaner. I, I owe you that before we make you ride us two fatties back to town. And then we'll give you a little food. And then we'll take our little trip back to the, back to camp. I said town. I meant camp. My goodness, Reverend. You just made that a whole thing. I had to kill two men for you after playing uh, cards. I just, I'm all over for you, man. Howdy, hoasies. We made it back to camp, y'all. Reverend's no worse for wear, it would appear. Hitch up the pony and, I don't know, put him somewhere, I guess. Come on, Rev. Get you somewhere so you can relax. Off at his bed. Oh, gosh. Don't mind me, everybody. Just got Reverend Swanson, the only guy out here doing anything. I mean, he didn't show up so much as I brought him brought him here, but, well, I, you know, horse apiece. Here you are, Rev. Take a rest in your bed. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. You're welcome. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. He always is. He always is. Man, I can't get anything better than bronze on these missions. I just don't know how to do them very good, apparently. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do I think the Hosea mission next, but we're gonna go find some water to to dip the horse in because he I tried doing the brush. He's feeling stinky. You can tell. So we're gonna get him. To some Wauda down to the Dakota River here. And then we'll go we'll go do this Hosea mission, I think, next. Cause I'm pretty confident and then we'll do Javier if we still have time. Cause I'm pretty confident in uh the Micah mission pushes the story forward, so like the the main story or whatever. And I wanna try to do as many of the missions as I can. Because that just seems, you know, more fun. I think the first time I did it, I kind of did a lot of the side stuff. And then uh, I really kind of phoned it in and just started doing the main story. Because it really grabbed me. So, I want to explore some of the more, uh, the lesser played things. Or at least lesser played for me. But first, we got to get this horse clean. Easy, buddy. Let's get you some, let's get you some water. Oh yeah, that's the one. 
Ooh. That'll feel good. Can't brush them while I'm in here, but... This has to help, I would assume. We won't swim upstream the whole time, buddy. There you are. Now I'll give you a little... I'll give you a little brush, too. Keep you, keep you brushed up, and then we'll be all settled, I think. Hopefully, at least. Alright, buddy. It's time to go see Hosea. Take that off there first. Where you at, Hosea? There you are. Oh boy, what do we got here? You. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey, well, what'd the fugitive do? Please! You gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! Hmm. Do I want to let him out of there? Not a wife of kids! I won't ask again! But a little bit Oh my god, how'd this guy live? <laughs> Alright. Hang on, man. Wow, geez. I just decided out of nowhere to help you. Okay? Relax. You gotta break me out of here, please. I did. I've done everything for you. I'm glad you showed up when you did. I don't have no money to give you. Of course you don't. Some information might interest a man like yourself. Okay. The shopkeep in Strawberry yeah. is a moonshine business. Somewhere turning a worldly profit. <laughs> so Moonshine, eh? Hey? You'd find your way. <laughs> yeah? Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too, lady. I'd, uh. Yeah. I'd, I'd mess with some. Did he fall? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Where'd he go? Who was that? Did you hear that scream? I'll try to turn it up in the edit. Somebody just went, ah! That was crazy. Maybe it was just him yaw on the horse or something, but... We always run into something on the street, and it's always a carriage. Whether I physically run into it, or it just becomes another mission I do. There's always a horse and, horse and buggy that I, I deal with. Alright, on our way to Hosea. Ride through the night. Get this situated. Here we are, Emerald Ranch, everybody. Hosea's somewhere over here. Up to the right, it looks like. Where you at, Hosea? My good buddy, Hosea. Oh, there he is. Well, let me take this waypoint away, because otherwise it's going to annoy me. Boom. I don't do so well. Please. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Respect Hi, Seamus. Partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Oh. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Damn, Arthur, you just coming and mess it all up? With his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't? Wow, just don't trust puff, puffing away over there. <laughs> They're We're taking some fat ribs. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Okay. Old Bob Crawford, an acquaintance of mine. So you want us to probably not a very good one, eh? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill me. We do like money. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. 
by marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his Maybe cousin. Maybe rob this guy. Okay, he really wants to put to stress that by marriage part. So there ain't no familialness to it. Oh, good. Mustard's over here now. Thanks, Mustard. He hooked himself up and everything. Smart horse. Really? Lead the way. He said the oh, place is I just lead the way. Here. Oh my gosh. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what Kidding me? Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah, this is the first time we've talked to Hosea since the bear attack. Nearly took his life. Get out of the way, dear. Oh my god. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. Yeah, I don't know about him either, but he won't cause us any problems. Is that true? Spot defense wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. He is the fence, so I guess that yeah, that's fair. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our <laughs> he's even got he's even got a Hosea saying it. Everyone's gonna preface all that. Oh God, I was looking at the message. Ah! So what's the story with? I am truly the worst horse driver on the planet. When I play GTA or anything like that, I play so many driving games, and I'm a, quite a good driver in video games. But apparently, when you put me on a horse, I become just worthless. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Yeah, there's something going on in that Emerald Ranch. The rancher's daughter a couple of times. Ooh, he now loves her. To see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Oh boy, something yeah, weird. Keep it down now. We must be close. Something weird. No, I want to hear more about the chick. Not leaving the house. The place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Why was I leading if you knew exactly where it was? Let's Bring out the bow. Come on. Just in case. Arthur, I'm hitting the crouch button. Maybe there isn't one. Maybe I'm lying to myself. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Has to be? Or just as probably. I have a feeling you're gonna make me do it. Wait, what? Why did I pull him out? There we go. Oh, we can really zoom in with these guys. Look at that. Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. There's Speaking a fire the there. The coach, you can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? I'd say let's do it right now at night. Let's Cover a night's where we want to be. That's my thought. I don't know. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. So I'm going to try to not go in the front door of the house. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. I, I agree with you there. I'm going to run sneak, but yeah, we're not going up onto that front porch. Not away in hell we doing that. That's just how you get caught. You know what I mean? There's got to be. I bet you there's some goofy window open or something that I can just poke poke up into. Wow, that was a real dramatic. Nobody downstairs at the very least. At least not right there. Which would mean nobody there. Oh my god, the glare is such that I can't see a thing. Sounds like there's somebody there. Doesn't there? Oh, somebody's sleeping for sure. Yeah, we got somebody sleeping in that bed there. Okay. I wonder if that's the only person or if that's one of several people. It's the real question on that. So maybe the front door is the move. Maybe I just gotta go right in the front door. No other windows or anything, so yeah, I think that's just the way it's gotta be. Well, we better stay quiet, everybody, because this is where it's gonna get risky. Alright, I can't see anything over here. Oh, the chimney. People do hide stuff in the chimney a lot in this game, so I found some good stuff in the chimneys. What do we got? 
$150? Oh my god. I'm gonna take the apple too, I guess. Wow. Truly need not do anything more than that. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna push my luck here, I think. We're gonna really push our, oh, never mind. There's another bedroom and a man sleeping up there. I didn't think that's what was gonna happen. Open this chest quick. I mean, we might as well, right, you know? Might as well take everything we can. 12 more bucks, you know, just seems worth it to me. Take their bourbon. Really let them know they've been robbed, I think is what we're trying for here. Arthur, why are you standing up? You're gonna get me caught, man. All right, now we'll go by Jose. So if you guys are ever wondering, uh, always just, um, truly always just, I'm coming, I'm coming, Jesus. Always just check the chimneys. Every single time. Oh, I'm driving? Oh, good. I, if, if anything, we've, we know about me is that I'm a fantastic driver of just a horse. So now imagine me in a, in a uh, horse-drawn carriage. Although it seems like we've gotten off without a hitch here. 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 I would agree with that. We made that a we made that a pretty quick move there, sir. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? That man came straight. I went off the road so that I wouldn't run into him, and that man came straight, straight at me. He went through a bush to ride his horse straight at me. My God! This game is designed that way. I swear. What is this deer? He's just running around in circles. It's, this is what it's going to be. This guy's going to walk straight at me, I bet. Yeah, exactly. You jerk. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Yeah, that does sound like the game. I can finally listen to what they're saying instead of trying to survive. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa! Good thing Seamus was still awake, I suppose. You better have believed in us now, man. We made quick work of that. Your cousins? How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Nice and quiet. I, literally as quickly as it will let me, to be honest with you. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly art. Excuse me? Like yeah. I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. You do love your discreet business, I'm sir. To camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, cool. we will. Let's ride together, Hosea. Ooh, a little cutscene action. Cool. Those chickens are pissed. Relax, guys. <laughs> it ran me into him. My controller vibrated because it ran me into him. <laughs> That's so funny. This game is so goofy sometimes. I didn't even have control and it made me ram into him. We'll probably rest for the night. Because, you know, it's so dark out. And then we'll see... We're at, we're at a weird time now if I want to start another mission, but maybe I will. We can fence stuff now, which is nice. Who's over here? Just a couple of folk. Who, where are you going? Where is my thing? There it is. I'm, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Take a take a wee sleep here and, and get to the morning at the very least. A little six hour kip. Take her easy.
Well rested, as I imagine. All right, I think we'll do the. I think we'll do the Javier mission. I think we'll. I don't have any recollection of what the mission is, so I don't know how long it takes. But I feel like we'll have enough time to get through it and not make it a astronomically long uh, one. So we found oh, Driscoll's oh, here, never mind. I thought I was just gonna say something at him. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Oh wow, that, this was from forever ago. This conversation. All right. Anyway, clearly you didn't give a shit, Dutch. But good morning. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. A lot of interesting interactions you can have, Arthur. But the one we're after is the one with Javier. Let's go see what's up with him. You there! What's your business here? This one's got Dutch's name on it! Oh gosh. What? Okay, well this wasn't very smart. So, okay, maybe I can't do this mission yet. Wow, I am dead. 100%. Dead. Yep, 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 yep. So maybe I gotta do that Micah mission first. I don't know. I didn't realize that's what was gonna happen. It even warned me. It warned me. The game gave me a message saying, Hey dude, if you do this, you're gonna die. Uh, and I chose to uh, not pay attention to any of that. And now Arthur has died for the second time. So we've killed Arthur, Arthur twice now. I've lost money because of it. And he comes back to on a rock somewhere. So, okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, um, we'll eat something here to get our, our heart back to... Our heart back into it. Uh, that was... So I guess maybe we won't do the Javier mission. I, how did he get into Blackwater if everyone knows exactly who I am? Well, what the heck, Javier? How'd you do that? Well, now the problem is, is that I think we've run out of time to do the... Uh, I don't really want to do the Mike mission right now. We'll start the next video with that. So we'll talk to this stranger over here, I guess. We won't get gunned down again. <laughs> That was crazy. I totally forgot about that. It's it's pretty uh pretty special how quickly I can not remember things. Alright, let's see what this guy's got going on here. I think this guy's like a photographer. I think I I think I've done this one before. So we'll we'll find out together though. Maybe I shouldn't speculate. Maybe I should just find out. This will show the boys at the Geographical Society. Take it, boys. Yes, the lighting. Uh, Morning. Howdy, sir. Oh, you were locked in if you didn't even Hello. see me coming. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. I like your hat. It's our country. I'm working on a project. What's that? Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself the burger. lions. I don't know if I've ever heard that word. Here? Just. Oh boy, Arthur's getting his photo taken. Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and catch. You're going to be famous, Arthur. Of our great predators before our greatest predators. Kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But well, I. Arthur really it. needs a shower. He's getting another. He's getting a photo taken with that greasy face. Big load of meat, and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens! My bag. That thing is robbing me. Go. Oh heavens. man. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Yeah. What? You want too. Wildlife photographer. Well, time to find the Yodi. And I got I probably don't got the gun for it, I'll be honest. Shotgun. If that Yodi is quick. There he is! Come here! Oh. Alright, one shot. We'll let him live. Hopefully he lives alright. 
Get out of here, buddy. Don't think about coming back. Yeah, dude. You lived luckily there, because I always shoot too soon, but... All right, Mason. Here's your bag. Saved it from that Yodi. What a brave Yodi, by the way. They're not usually uh, too walk up to you esque, but got your bag. Worked out. Good, good. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Of course, man. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. Nice, dunk it on the coyotes. Bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. You're frantic, man. You gotta yes, get it together. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. All right. Well, interesting. I don't really know what was. How are you gonna get the picture now if your meat's just somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm moving, man. Relax. I'll let you be. All right. Well, here's what you know. What else I'm thinking. That was a first of all. That was interesting. I knew it was a. I knew he was a photographer, and I, I thought you do like photography missions or something. But um, let's see if I can't. So Mike is in um, Strawberry. We're not going to do the Mike mission yet. We'll wait till next time for that. But I'm going to see if in this menu or something. Definitely not this. I can find. Um, I, the, the guy told me about that old lady or something that lived up there. So we'll see. Maybe it's a challenge. No, that's not it. Somebody's screaming at their thing. How do you look at those again? Somebody is absolutely screaming at me. There's definitely a way to do this, and I'm a fool for not being able to figure it out. But we will, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Maybe we can just stumble upon it. That way, too, we're starting right where the mic emission is if we end over there. It should it should keep us... Oh, boy. What do you need? Somebody always needs something. Please stop. Oh, I beg you. Yeah. Act right. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying... You're freaking out, dude. If you could just guide me back. Okay. You have a good reason to say no. Yeah, we'll help you out, man. Oh, thank you, thank Come on. You, Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? I'd let them. It's going to take way longer. Uh, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Okay. I can't really do anything, so I guess... Sorry, bro. Out here anyway? I guess we're just walking. Natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just also, visiting. what kind of walk uh, did you go on that you got actually. so lost? You're from Strawberry, oh, and you walked out of Strawberry, oh, and then yes. couldn't just retrace your steps? Burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Nice. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. Well, you're in the you're in the I woods now, brother. Call it charming. It ain't New York. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me no. a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, this guy, this if this guy gets run over by this carriage, that'll be pretty funny. God. A little bit spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub the man's completely deluded well i should give him some credit he must be quite the salesman he did get me out here after all yeah oh, you me. truly came I'm out jumping through the leaves and the muck with some cowboy and uh, no offense little taken choose your words carefully friend if for some reason you plan to spend any time in strawberry you may want to look into that gabbing mayor something is definitely off with him. Hmm. Everyone's full of tips. Keep that in mind. Yeah, thanks, man. Everyone's full of tips about strawberry. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, I got a bounty here. Wait, what? Why do I have a bounty here? Micah, what did you do? Well, honestly, I just kind of poked around strawberry for a while there. Uh, 
I think all of it's going to get cut out because I didn't really do anything. Um, so I discovered he's got the uh, the shopkeep here that I just, the store I just came out of. He's got the uh, that one guy told me about um, a moonshining thing he's got going on under there. So we discovered that that was there, and I can at some point rob him for that. I don't really know how to do that, but we'll figure it out. I also turned Arthur into the man in black, which is pretty cool. I think he looks pretty slick right now, so that's nice. Look at that. Even adjusting his hat on command. What better way to end it? You know, with a with a just Arthur looking real slick. Um, and end it we shall. What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? What, what is going on? The man just the man just fell into the mud or something. That was insane. His legs disappeared. It truly, every time I try to do an outro of a video, something insane happens. All right, we're just going to try to do it quick here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching before something else insane happens. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, as always, you can like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and the the series will keep on going. Um, I'm enjoying my Red Dead time, and uh, it's been good to get back into the story. So hope you, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, you you know you want to keep, uh, keep along with me for the ride. Um, from me and Arthur, we'll say uh, we'll see you in the next one. So take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.